Hello, this is Jeff from Vocal Boost to Go. Uh, today we're getting ready to go and do the test of our new acoustic panels. So it's rainy outside, the wind is getting ready, and uh, this is our new product. So these are the acoustic panels with the image, and this is the image printed directly on the panels, and this is fabric covered acoustic panels, 3 inches. And we also created these panels. And these panels have absorbing layer and the mass loaded layer. So they will be uh, sound absorption at one side and soundproofing on the other side. So every time we make a new product or I make modification to the product, um, which I think gonna affect the absorption quality or soundproofing quality of the product, I take to the um, test, to acoustic lab test, and that's what we're going to do today. Here's the one coming up. And we're going to load everything and take it to Geneva, to Chicago. River Lab Acoustic Club. River Bank Acoustic Labs. So here's my froggy. My travel froggy. And it's raining. So this is the Museum of Architectural Acoustic Testing and this was like the first uh, acoustic test lab in the United States. The Riverbank Acoustical Laboratories, or RAL for short, started in 1918 as a collaboration between Wallace Clement Sabine and Colonel George Fabian, the latter who owned the land that surrounds the facility. He was a futurist with a utopian view of the world and intended to create a commune for scientists. He would pay for their room and board along with a stipend while they lived and worked on this estate. All the research they did belonged to him with some of the earliest work on the estate involving acoustical principles. That early work would be the beginning of the Riverbank Acoustical Laboratories. The museum, which started many decades ago as a small collection display, expanded over time. The museum was formally named the John W. Kopech Museum of Architectural Testing after his retirement in the late 1990s. Kopech was a beloved lab manager who wrote The Sabines at Riverbank, a definitive history of Rao's early years. As the oldest acoustical testing agency in the world, Rao had a treasure trove of equipment and quite a bit of donated archival material from pioneers like T.J. Schultz and Sabine to get the museum started. It's through this museum that the importance of preserving this material for future generations of noise control professionals would be a priority. The purpose of this video is to explain the difference between NRC and STC. Sound absorption is measured by NRC, while sound blocking is measured by STC. NRC stands for Noise Reduction Coefficient, but it has nothing to do with blocking external sounds, but rather reducing the noise within the room. A perfect example of this would be in our Flutter Echo video. That's a long echo! The NRC is a logarithmic representation of the decay rate, decibels per second, due to a panel or object with a defined surface area absorbing energy compared to the decay rate in a standard reverberant room without the panel or object. STC stands for Sound Transmission Class. The reason it is referred to as class is because construction materials and wall assemblies are sorted out in different classes by the amount of sound lost in transmission. Transmission from one room through a barrier and into another room. We believe the best way to explain the difference would be to show how the NRC and STC tests are administered. 
This is the reverberation room, designed to keep reverberations active. All surfaces are reflective, and special diffusers are on the move to break any sound waves that are standing still. This includes corner diffusers, a rotating microphone, a sound source, rotating diffuser blades, a reflective concrete floor, and of course, the test samples. So what does the actual NRC test entail? First, sound decay is measured within the empty room with no absorption materials in it. Then the sample materials are placed and the sound decay is measured once again. In many cases, the measurements are repeated approximately 60 to 80 times to assure the accuracy of the results. Then, the sound decay is compared. And you kind of see what it is. It's all frequencies are about the same at once. I mean, I can when I turn it off, kind of see different frequencies decay at different rates. It's because there's different absorptions for each frequency. Okay, so we turn the sound on, we turn it off, and then we're going to measure the decay, the slope of that line, which is the decay rate within the room. And each frequency is going to look different because there's different absorption in the room for each frequency. And again, all we want to see is that nice slope. So the NRC test measures how much faster the sound decays, being reduced, after absorption materials were introduced into the room compared to when the room was empty. This is why it is called noise reduction. The faster the sound dies out, the more absorptive the material is. Each frequency has a different rate of absorption. So in this room, we're going to do the uh, sound transmission loss testing. And the way it works, there is a, there is a room over here with the noise source, and it's going to be measured too. And then there is a opening like that. This is like where kind of like a door. Huge, huge walls. Huge thick walls and nothing goes through this. And this is actually double. There is space in between those walls. And this portion here that I'm pushing is soft. So this is a seal. And uh, yeah, so this is going to be the samples on the floor here. Yeah, the test sample is on the floor right now, and uh, it's going to be raised and put over here and sealed. And then the microphone is going to be here to measure the difference, the meter. And also, this is to break down the waves and make everything nice and homogeneous. Making sausage. <laughs> Not, not quite as bad as that, Great care is taken to make sure that there are no cracks or openings between the test material and the walls of the room. The cracks around the test sample are being sealed with a special soundproofing putty. So this is all tucked in. So loud in there, I could not hear myself talking. That's ridiculous. This is how this room sounds when the noise test is conducted. That noise is behind. That noise is behind that barrier. That's our bottom. 
To summarize, the NRC test measures sound absorption, how fast the sound decays when acoustic panels are introduced into the room. The SDC test measures sound blocking, how much sound was lost while it was passing through acoustic panels with sound barrier.